First Grant, I'm going to admit something to you here. Sometimes I have nightmares that when you guys turn on this video in the morning, your reaction is, <coughs> hopefully not. So let's just go ahead and get started on the 20th round of First Grade Focus. Now before, whoa, you know what that means. We must have a birthday. Let me flip through my book here until I find whose name is it? Bennett in Mr. Lance's class. Happy birthday, Bennett. Hope you have a great day, dude. All right, let's get right into... Shout out. First one goes to RJ in Mrs. Rice's class who took up the sidewalk chalk active challenge and boy, did he do it. I mean, you were twisted and you were turning. You were doing spirals. You were crawling. You were doing zigzags. RJ, by the time I was done watching that video, that awesome creation you created, I was sweating. Great job. All right, my next shout out goes to Grayson, who took up the invention convention challenge, and he thought it'd be really cool to invent a giant robot, but my more favorite one, Grayson, was that trash monster. Great job. Next shout out goes to Maddox in Mr. Lance's class. Maddox thought inventing super shoes would be awesome because he thinks it'd be really cool just to fly. My next shout out goes to Adeline in Mrs. Broadbeck's class. Adeline completed her challenge club assignment and I thought it was a great alternative solution, Adeline, of buying raincoats versus umbrellas. And my final shout out. Ooh, two sounds in one because Oliver and Mrs. Broadbeck's class he completed extra math addition about a month ago. And since then, he's been working so hard on completing extra math subtraction. And he's almost there. So it's a shout out for completing subtraction. And then my shout out, so close shout out to subtraction. The other day, he recently got 93 in a row. Great work, Oliver. Keep it up. All right. Let's go on to joke of the day. Got to weekend edition. Which Disney character can count the highest? Buzz Lightyear. He can count to to infinity and beyond. Why shouldn't you give Elsa from Frozen a balloon? She'll let it go. <laughs> two days in a row, first grade. And RJ, I'm still sweating from that video. Fun fact. Got to. Ketchup was originally sold as medicine. My second fun fact. Popsicles were invented by an 11 year old. Let's come up with some more invention conventions there first, grade. What do we say? All right, let's go to today's. Maybe. <laughs> Stuffy Hide and Seek Challenge. I'll explain. But today through the weekend, one day, if it's not as nice outside, I want you guys to play Stuffy Hide and Seek. Here's how it works. You get three stuffies, or stuffed animals if you prefer. One, a large one. Then a medium sized one. Hi Simba. In a small one. You hide those three in three different places and you challenge your family to go find them. It'll be pretty fun. So for a shout out, I just want a picture of the three stuffed animals you use. And again, one has to be small, one has to be medium, and one has to be big. And I look forward to hearing from you and I hope you guys have a great time doing that. <laughs> that sound means it's time to go. So this is Mr. B, uh, always reminding you first grade to say please and thank you. Until next time, peace.